Hi, I'm Fred, coming to you from Forever Bedrock. Let's destroy some builds. Seriously, I'm tearing down some major things today, and you should too. Why should you destroy your builds? When should you destroy your builds? What's the best way to destroy your builds? I'll answer those questions, give you my tips and tricks, and erase some of my hard work in this video. Starting now. The most basic answer to the question of why we should tear down old builds is that we no longer need them. Did you build a neat little starter base, but now you have a huge mansion? Tear down that little hut and build something else in its place, like a fountain. Remember when building fountains was all the rage and we all did it? Another good reason to destroy a build is that it no longer matches your style or taste. Like when you jumped on the fountain bandwagon and surrounded your castle with them but now you realize that goat statues are where it's at mine those blocks and craft some goats and don't forget your farms which is what i'm primarily focused on today minecraft changes a lot and those farms you built three years ago are just cluttering up the place tear down those broken farms and follow the tutorials on this channel for better farms smaller farms more efficient farms most fun farms where was i lastly think of the blocks in those old builds tons of resources going to waste in ugly buildings broken farms and annoying fountains seriously mumble built a fountain right when he joined Her hermitcraft they were everywhere he decided to remove some old projects. Good for you. That's the hardest step after deciding when to remove them. When do you grab your tools and start whacking away at them? Well, the first question is, do you still need it? There's a new version of the game coming out, and so there's a replacement farm that's all the rage. You can't wait to build it. It's not going to do you any good until that version's actually out. So you want to keep your old farm until then. Did I just get hurt by that egg firing at my head? <laughs> the same goes for new building blocks. There's no use planting a giant castle with the latest block and leaving yourself without a safe place until those blocks are in the game. Unless you're going to replace the thing you tear down with the new building right on the same spot it's usually better to build a new thing first anyway but what if you need the materials from the old build in order to use to build a new build well then yes of course you need to tear it down first but that's good to know that's especially important in the early days when blocks food redstone and everything else is hard to come by do you hate looking at an old build like every time you walk by it, you kind of get a little upset that's a good sign it's time and finally do you have time to tear it down are your tools freshly made or mended do you have the inventory space for all the resources so you can answer yes to all those questions it's not the time to start breaking blocks before you start lighting that dynamite playing your destruction don't just wade in swing your pickaxe around if you want to keep the resources throw down a chest or two or several shulker boxes whatever you got make sure you have the right tools to break everything quickly and so it drops don't hack through your hedge maze with an axe and expect to have stacks of leaves left over unless it's got silk touch of course there's nothing wrong with covering everything with tnt and just blowing it up in java you keep to keep more blocks as long as you don't accidentally blow up the stuff you just blew up but it's still fun even in bedrock and really make sure you know what you're doing next it's fun to break things things but it's less fun to have to rebuild them because you didn't plan ahead and all of a sudden you need it again take enough care where you have fun and don't accidentally grief your future self tearing down existing builds of minecraft could be a great way to free up space and resources match your style and taste or bring cohesiveness to an area when deciding whether or not to tear down a build consider its purpose whether it brings you joy and whether you have the time and resources to start anew and remember with proper planning and patience tearing down a build can be a rewarding experience that leads to new and exciting projects and final piece of soul sand in there oh yeah I can finally breathe in my base. That was too cramped before. Anyway, I hope this video has encouraged you to blow something up, destroy something, get your pickaxe, and tear something down. It's fun, it's useful, it's necessary. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch y'all later.